MTD CNC are at GOM UK today and I'm joined by Scott now. Scott is a specialist in the aerospace sector um, and we're going to be discussing that but we're also going to be looking at the Atos scan box and some of the innovations within this particular product. So Scott, firstly, could you just tell our audience about this metrology solution that you offer? Okay, so this is our Atos scan box or one of the series. Um, it aims to be a very user-friendly system off-the-shelf automated solution that aims to capture data very quickly and with very uh, low user input. Now all of the software is built in, can you, can you tell our audience how easy is it, it is to use and how easy is, it is to program? Yep, so within our virtual measurement room, which is the, uh, the driver for the robot that you can see behind, um, this is a very user-friendly system. There's no pendant to move the robot. It's simply done from dragging arrows around a virtual room. Um, we've also got features to help us, such as Smart Teach, which is um, basically when we put the CAD inside, it can understand the features and it will automatically create a measurement path based on the uh, inspection features within the software. You make it sound easy, Scott. Um, now, components such as this, it's actually being demoed at the minute. Mm -hmm. How long would it take to typically measure a component such as this? So once you've completed the training, um, you can typically create a program within five minutes. Um, and then to, to scan this part, this program will be somewhere in the region of three or four minutes long. So very fast. So you're Absolutely. not only saving time programming, but you're also saving time inspecting the part. Now, the real powerful part of this is not just the inspection, but the GOM inspect. Can you tell our audience how this can improve and support manufacturing processes? Absolutely. So with the, um, with the GOM Inspect, we aim to give everything um, an icon-driven approach. So we can almost have a left-to-right method of creating 3D data, um, 3D um, inspection, also 2D inspection. And we can also do some quick distance checks and whatnot to really help us along. Now, GOM have got specialists for every single sector. Mm -hmm. This is something that's quite unique. I've not really heard of uh, before anyone else doing this. Now, you are the aerospace specialist and um, you're out holding an aerospace component here. Mm -hmm. How important is it to have specialists for each sector? The GOM Inspect software is um, very, very diverse um, and there's lots of functionality within it. Um, especially with the aerospace, there's very um, specific aerospace tools or aerofoil tools uh, to measure a component such as this. So to have people like myself on hand ready to support at any given time, um, I think is a, a great driver to uh, purchase a GOM system. Um, we have annual meetings where um, I will meet other aerospace experts from other parts of the world. Um, and we will come across um, to discuss new software versions, um, customer experiences, customer requests. Um, so we keep each other informed from uh, all the corners of the globe. Now, you work closely with some of the large OEMs, but what about the subcontractors, the aerospace subcontractors? It's a big industry in the UK. Absolutely. So we're very much intertwined into the, um, the big three OEM engine manufacturers for aerospace. Um, but that's also being rolled down the supply chain. So we've got a, um, a standard called NADCAP within the aerospace industry. Um, and specifically, that's relating to 3D scanning systems as well. Um, so a lot of the standards um, that are being written today regarding aerospace metrology um, are very much starting to, to pick up on the 3D inspection as opposed to the 2D inspection, which has been used for the past 50 or so years. Scott, in your, in your honest opinion, is this the future of metrology and inspection? Absolutely. So we're seeing um, a lot recently that we're replacing a lot of 2D or tactile measurement machines um, and the, the customer drawings as a uh, consequence of changing. So um, ordinarily with a part such as this, we'd see a lot of 2D sections being created, camber lines, etc. This still does exist. However, we want to see the aerofoil as a whole. We want to see um, what's happening with the entire surface, how it's interacting with each other. Uh, how the surfaces are interacting with each other. So this is a vital part of metrology, um, efficiency of the engine, and also the safety and development of the engines as well. So this is where the GOM tool or 3D metrology comes into um, its own, really. Scott, thank you very much for this insightful interview. So there you have it, the GOM, Scanbox, and all of the solutions that GOM offer.